Thanks for staying with us. A huge, strange-looking object made its way through the streets of Pueblo today. That's right. We heard from people who couldn't seem to figure out, what is it, a train, a plane, or something else? The News First, David Ordovez explains it all. Imagine driving down a street in Pueblo and seeing this. A 94-foot-long hovercraft being hauled by a semi-trailer. Onlookers were both mesmerized and confused. I don't know what it is. What is it? <laughs> that was a plane coming by yeah, that crashed, I think. Not exactly a train or an airplane. It's something called an aerotrain. This is the last John Britain aerotrain in the world. Built during the 1960s, this $12 million electric train was an innovation for its time. A vehicle that could float on air using a monorail system. It could hold 60 passengers and travel up to 150 miles an hour. However, it wasn't feasible. It used too much electricity. Tested but never put into production, for 40 years this artifact was housed at the Pueblo Aircraft Museum. It now belongs to the Railway Museum, whose biggest challenge was moving it. We've had four days of preparation just getting it jacked up and put on the trailers. Despite help from police, it took them two hours to move the aero train here to its new home seven miles away. Oh, a very good day. It's home. But their work isn't done yet. They're planning a big restoration project. Fix it up to where people can go in and see a bygone era of a high-speed train that looks like a something from outer space. <laughs> it really does. David Ordeviz, News First 5. And get this, the Railway Museum estimates that aero train now worth about 20 million big ones. That's inflation. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, you can see it at its new home on D Street in downtown Pueblo. Mike? Tomorrow could be a wild weather Wednesday in parts of the new